Oh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, good morning. Uh, if you're in Germany, uh, like Bill and Claudia, it's uh, Guten Morgen or Guten Abend or Good Nacht, depending on uh, is my German all right? <laughs> uh, hello, everybody. I'll just make sure we're live on uh, YouTube. We are. We've got a number. Oh, we've got lots of people watching already. G'day, everybody. Uh, everybody's here, ready to go. We've got the owner of our company, Swiss Gold Global, the big company in the background there. Uh, we've got our presidential um, amb ambassador, number one affiliate, Claudia, and I've got my um, upline, Karen, in the middle of sunny England, Bill in Germany. Now, we do have Prem uh, joining us. He's just walking back from dropping his uh, kids to school like he does every morning. And Paul from the Gold Coast, he's just walked in. So there's a couple more people to come on. So um, welcome, everybody. Welcome. This is going to be a huge hangout tonight because we've got lots of information to give you. And that's the whole key about Swiss Gold Global. We impart as much information and communicate with you every Monday night. So if you haven't seen our Hangouts before, just um, save the link and uh, you can either subscribe to me or just go on the Swiss Gold Global corporate um, Facebook uh, group or the uh, Swiss Gold Global uh, Australia yeah. one. And Karen shares that as well with... Um, uh, her um, her uh, people with her her, her um, uh, group as well. So it's welcome to everybody. And uh, we'll just quickly go and say hello to everyone. Then I want to hand it to Bill because he's got a lot of information to tell everybody. Um, and there'll be a lot of questions coming through. Um, but uh, it'll be good. All right now, Claudia. Guten Morgen to you. How are you, Claudia? Uh, good morning, uh, Kitty. I'm beautiful. I mean, I'm great. I'm in the beautiful sun here in Munich. As you see, it's really cold, so it's not like Queensland, but uh, I'm excited. Awesome. Very, very good. That sun is shining through. Now, what time is it there? It's about 10 or 11 in the morning, is it? Correct. Like 10 uh, and yeah, 10 o'clock in the morning. And okay, we have right. been like, it was a late night yeah, last night with, with Genesis team. So excited. All right, good. Now you're still there. You're you're staying in in Munich, yeah. We're staying. We still have some more things to catch up, you know. Uh, and uh, yeah, well, Bill is hopefully. I don't know what he's going to share, but you know, uh, keep staying on. He will share some good news with you guys. I mean, we have really exciting news. It's a huge industry, as you know. It's a lot of demand, and um, we're working with a really great company together. So I think everybody should be proud because um, you go, you are you are in for a treat. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Thank you very much, Claudia. And we are looking forward to Bill's uh, input and his information, and we'll get back to you as well. Uh, good morning to you, Karen. In the middle of it, look at that sun. It's I didn't think there was a sun in England. Is there? That's normally just... <laughs> is that, hi, Keith. Uh, hi, everyone. <laughs> no, we don't see it very often. I have to enjoy it. No, that's right. My mother's from England, and my sister lives there, and I've been there, and I was there during the summer, and I think um, we got about two days uh, when the sun yeah. came out. Everyone panicked. They couldn't, <laughs> didn't know what to do. The shops ran out of uh, sunscreen. <laughs> it was crazy. That sounds about right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's good. The sun is good. Vitamin D. So just stick your head out the window after the hangout's <laughs> finished, Karen. By the way, how, how what is it? Two degrees or something, is it? Something like that, yeah. About two, three degrees. Not very warm. All right. There's nice civil uh, glazed window between me and the cold. <laughs> All right, brilliant. Now, how, how's things going in the UK for you? You've had a number of meetings over the last six months. Um, everyone's pretty pumped in the UK, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, it's going really well here. Um, lots of people joining. Uh, and now we've got the mining back as well. So, uh, you know, it's uh, getting that momentum going again, for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Everyone's really excited about the mining and uh, looking forward to hearing what Bill and Claudia have got to say today. Really looking forward yeah. to that. We all are. So we'll get back yeah. to you uh, about any other events coming out. Thanks. Thanks for jumping on this morning. What time is it for you? Is it nine it's o'clock or something? Is it nine o'clock? Yeah, nine. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. All right. Good on you. Uh, now, Paul, just uh, unmute your microphone there for us, mate. And uh, big welcome to you on the Gold Coast. We we live in the sun, uh, and Bill knows us very well, being a Melbourneian. Although it's the the weather down there can change at the drop of a hat. How's things with you, mate? Pretty good down here. Yeah, lovely day at golf today. Just just had to just got it home in time. Beautiful sunny day. Yeah. So you've been on the golf course today. And... 
I'm going to own my next dollar. Yeah. So, well, <laughs> your next Bitcoin. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, even when we're uh, at, at work or playing golf, we uh, our contract is still working for us. And uh, as Bill loves to say, we have to do absolutely nothing for those. So um, Paul's been doing a little bit playing golf. So uh, well done, mate. Thanks for coming on. We'll get back to you uh, a little bit later with... Um, uh, anything uh, that may you want to may talk about about coming up on the Gold Coast meetings wise, um, and uh, Bill, Mr. Bill Rowell, the owner uh, CEO of uh, Swiss Gold Global. Um, it's always great to have you on, mate. Um, I know you're super super busy, um, so really appreciate the time you put in to jump on these hangouts. Uh, and you're in uh, in uh, and uh, Munich again, same as Claudia, and uh, meeting with. Um, Genesis. So there's obviously in the last, well, every week in this business, there seems to be something going on uh, in the world of cryptocurrency. It's just amazing what's happened. Um, again, when I talk to people and, and pay with my uh, Bitcoin card, the, the amount of people knowing about Bitcoin is starting to, I'd say instead of one out of 10, it's maybe creeping up to two out of 10. There's a lot more news articles, online news articles in Australia. It even made the Sydney Morning Herald bill the about uh, Bitcoin, uh, and it was uh, the uh, financial guy on the ABC News even got onto uh, Bitcoin on his financial report and, and noted that the price had gone up by three point three percent. So for him to take an interest, or the actual ABC as a, uh, a news entity to take an interest to say that. The price had risen 3.3%, which is not that much compared to, well, it is compared to the, <laughs> the Australian dollar, which is going, going that way. Um, it was quite amazing to get that feedback. So things are really starting to accelerate. I've got that feeling. It's just, we're on a precipice. We're just going to go, go, go in a minute. So it's always great to have you on, Bill. And if you can bring us up to date with our current situation, what's happened, what the plans are, the interim plans that you can tell us about. Uh, that'd be brilliant. So over to you, Bill. Well, hello, hello everyone. Thank you, Keithy, for inviting me to uh, to, to uh, today's call. Yes, I'm in beautiful uh, Munich, which is a great city here, actually. And there is actually sunshine, which is a bit of a bonus, which uh, which I enjoy. So, um, yeah, there's been lots of things uh, happening. As you well know, I've been abroad uh, with Claudia. I mean, it's great to see Claudia on the up so early in the morning. What time is it here? 10 o'clock. So good morning. Good morning, Claudia, that she's made the call. That's a good that's a good thing. Um, We've been travelling through America for a couple of weeks, or a few weeks, and um, on tours. In the last week, I spent uh, in Orange County with different uh, business people. That was primarily about blockchain developments uh, for next year regarding our gold, uh, our gold and silver, which we'll be able to uh, transact on the blockchain. So that's that's a pretty interesting concept that uh, will go ahead. It's going to take some time, but that would be very, very, very unique with a regulated gold fund. So it will give our members direct access, which is normally only available for institutional investors of you know, a quarter of a million dollars or upwards. So that's going to be very special uh, for our members uh, around the world in that sense. But I suppose the big question is, for most people, is it's about the Bitcoin mining, correct? That's what people want, uh, Keithy. And the, the, the demand, you, you just touched on a point there, the, the uh, what's it called, the, the Sydney Morning Herald. I mean, I lost track of Melbourne newspapers. I don't read newspapers anymore. I haven't owned a TV for 16 years. But um, with that said, it's, it's true. What's, what's driving this noise? It's, it's actually the price, isn't it? What's driving the price? It's the adoption. As people become more aware of it, of course, it's a sort of a compounding effect. Actually, I've just got to plug my computer in because I realise this is unplugged. One moment, please. It's going to drop out. Okay. Um, so this is what's driving really the price. And the demand for mining, of course, is, you know, just looking at, you know, the ROI, the returns that people can get on a $30 contract or a $50,000 contract. It's pretty substantial. Where else are you going to get that in the world today in that respect, in, in such a concept? Um, and the whole protocol, of course, is designed that way. As, it, as the adoption increases with Bitcoin, as people start to use it and the transaction increases, et cetera, of course, the demand is increasing, which is putting the price. So because the pie, the size of the Bitcoin pie is staying at 1,800 Bitcoins per day. That's it. That's the size of the pizza. It doesn't get any bigger than that. It's just the particular size. But as more miners and more adoptions increase, it means that the, the size of the pie that was slicing up between all of us is getting smaller. 
but because of the greater demand, the price is going up north, which is which is really nice. Of course, it's volatile. We're having swings of 15 and 20 percent. We saw a big swing the other day, of course, but this is not abnormal for a disruptive technology. We've seen this historically before. But of course, if you've just come on, you're not used to this sort of thing, you might pretty much pee your pants uh, in one respect, Keithy. People, people panic, you know. But that's where you need to have greater understanding. And you need to have a long-term view regarding it. What are, you, what are you actually doing? Do you know what you're in? Why are you here? You're not mining, in one sense, you're not really mining for dollars. You're mining for Bitcoin, okay? And Bitcoin is a currency, it's, a, it's an adopted a currency around the world. So I wanna, I've chosen to own that currency. I own Bitcoin, just like I own um, Australian dollars, Swiss francs, euros, American dollars. And between those basket of currencies, it's gonna be fluctuating rates. But that doesn't stop me owning a basket of those currencies because I need them. So I view Bitcoin exactly the same. It's one of those basket of currencies that I like to have. Now in many parts of the world, you know, it's all of you are still early adopters in one sense. We're still at the very early stages. Keithy just said maybe two out of ten people that he speaks to are aware of it. Okay, uh, and this is absolutely fantastic. Um, so as more people become become online and start to understand what it's about and its uses, I mean the transactional value: three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand transactions per day. Uh, on bitcoins, billions of dollars. It's truly significant, of course. But it's and uh, so I encourage people: don't be, don't be overwhelmed with the price swings. First of all, don't put yourself at risk. There's no need for anyone to put themselves at risk of owning bitcoin here and to mine for it. You know. Uh, but I've, I saw this in the 1990s with the, with the dot com boom, and I'm sure Paul would remember this and yourself too, Keithy. Is that you know people tend to get a little bit emotional. And greed comes in when they start to see these, you know, fantastic returns. And maybe they may overextend themselves to buy something that they can't really afford to. And of course, you get a 20% swing back against you. And of course, you know, the fear starts to kick in big time. You want to be able to sleep at night. That's that's really important too. But if you're not in the game, you're not in the game, means you're not going to get paid. So you just need to you need to be conscious of that and be aware of that. And um, and and have a management plan of risk management. So owning Bitcoin as a currency is a good thing to do. And I also say to people, if you've been in for some time, you know, there's nothing wrong with taking a few profits of converting a bit of, because we have to live, don't we? At some point, you're going to have to convert it maybe to a fiat currency, unless your landlord or maybe your house mortgage can be payable uh, in Bitcoin. I mean, in Switzerland, yes, in Switzerland, you can actually pay in some cantons or some states, you can actually pay your taxes in Bitcoin. Okay, you can pay education in Bitcoin. So it is adopted there. In some countries, it's not so not so uh, greatly adopted. But the point I'm just making here is that Bitcoin is a currency. That's that is what you own. It's diversifying your portfolio of currencies in your hand. So don't let the price swings, you know, influence you too much. Have a longer term plan, of course. But if you're mining for Bitcoin for your daily revenue, which I understand people need to do because we need to pay our bills and put bread and butter on the table. Of course, you need to be able to liquidate that. You're going to take it from Bitcoin into the fiat currency, whether it's Aussie dollars or whether it's a US dollars or British pound. And that, of course, will have a significant uh, effect upon you. So I just wanted to touch on that part regarding the price swings and where it's, it's going. But it's looking very, very, very good. Speaking with Dr. Marco Cron, who's a doctor in mathematics and, um, and the CTO uh, for Genesis. Uh, actually, he's also a doctor, Dr. Stefan Schindler. He's a medical doctor, actually. Um, who has a, he's an amazing uh, man, has the knowledge he has on, on IT, et cetera. He's responsible for, for all the mining farms. You know, they, the demand is is really incredible. So, so far that they can't keep up with it. That's clear. Otherwise, we wouldn't have run out of Bitcoin mining contracts. So where are we at the moment with Bitcoin mining? Well, as you can see, Genesis, Genesis last night have turned off their supply on the pre-sale. Uh, if you go to the website. But from our negotiations yesterday, and they certainly like the integrity, they like our mission of what we do, they've secured us a significant amount of uh, peta hash, which is fantastic for our members, um, until, until they start uh, extending their mining operation, you know, early 2017, because primarily we're heading into December, Christmas interruption, et cetera. Uh, the year is gone, isn't it, in, in one respect. People start winding down. So we're very fortunate to have this relationship with Genesis Mining and their support because 
they could have just turned us off and they could have sold everything themselves. And they would have done that like that with over the million members. But they didn't do that. They've chosen to turn themselves off and put us first. So that's, that's really uh, outstanding when you really think about that, what they're doing. We're talking millions of dollars worth of business here generated for our members in, in, in Bitcoin mining contracts. They didn't have to share that with us. They could have just said, Bill, the door shut on you. We're going to actually just sell it ourselves. They didn't do that. It's pretty awesome what they've done, actually. So we really have to value that. Now, with that said, um, there's certainly a lag uh, in mining. Now, they, you know, Dr. Schindler, he actually showed us some of the mining rigs. He's the CTO that they've actually developed. They customize their own rigs. They build them themselves. They're manufactured specifically for them uh, in Asia, of course, in China. And, uh, I mean, they're number one. There's no question about that. You might hear noise about this and about that, and, uh, but there's no question they are number one when it comes to, uh, to the mining. So we're very, very grateful and uh, appreciative that they're our partners in one sense. We partner with them, I suppose. They're, they're our supplier, and they're honouring us uh, very, very much. Now, on the payouts, yes, there's been payout issues. No question about that. In fact, when we went live last Thursday with the, uh, the contracts, we had to keep it relatively quiet initially, but when they went live, of course, it was just you know it was just crazy. You know, it was just servers couldn't keep up with it. Our server couldn't keep up with it. With um, Genesis Mining server couldn't keep up with it because you got over me and me and members there alone trying to all funnel into the one system to buy hash power. Then of course our, our payment gateways. Our, you know, for example, even Bitcoin, even Bitcoin transactions because of what was going on with Bitcoin was exceptionally slow. The mempool backup uh, was was was. Uh, Incredible. I think we put out a notice yesterday regarding the mempool. That was one of the main reasons why uh, the payouts, because the fee, the transaction fees, they went, they exceeded, they increased significantly. And of course, it'd be just silly to, to absorb too much of our members' payouts because of these fees in transaction fees. So they held back. But of course, they didn't put out the tran the, the, um, the news about that. And there's still a few days missing and um, that we're aware of. The most important thing people need to know the payouts are going to be honoured. Yes, there's some technical issues, and there's many technical issues when you have such high demand. Um, and primarily because we're dealing with our server, and our server must communicate with their server, and their servers must, must communicate with our server. When I mean, there's absolutely exceptional demand beyond belief in one sense, things break down. And when that happens, some reports aren't pushed to us, even though the payout may be on your blockchain, um, it, it hasn't been pushed to us, therefore it's not showing in your back office. So these things will be corrected over the next days and even the week. Uh, and But I just want to let people know, you're dealing with a great team at Genesis. When you look into the eyes of the owner, and they're just normal guys just like us. They're doing their best. They've been, they've been swamped. The scalability issues that they have because there's so much demand for the product, I mean, they're just – they're. The business is moving, you know, really a light speed faster than what they can keep up. And of course, what comes with that is difficulty. It causes challenges to keep up with the demand and um, and everything else. But on the other side, of course, it's absolutely fantastic uh, that we're partnered with them. And and as I said, you know, yesterday they could have turned us off. Um, Genesis Mining could have turned us off and said no more hash power for for uh, Swiss Gold Global, but they didn't do that. They turned themselves off and they've honoured us with hash power. That just shows. The relationship that we have and the trust that they have with us. Now, there's some changes made, of course. We're actually going to be giving preference hash power to our affiliate members over the customers. That's the fair thing to do. You have to look after your premium, your premium members, and that's really our affiliate members. And we're going to limit the amount of hash power. We're going to monitor this because we we don't have a limited supply, of course. So what we have, we want to be able to pace out, to, you know, to benefit our members and things like that. And um, the customers will actually be. At the moment, it's limited to five um, terahash. Maybe as time goes on, as we monitor, monitor the supply, maybe we even reduce that down a bit further um, until we carry over to 2018. Because as I said, 2017 is pretty much all over or over with Christmas coming on. So that's primarily where we are. What other subjects do I want to speak about? I spoke about the blockchain. I spoke about um, the Bitcoin mining, where we're going. That I spoke about the unpaid rewards issue, which, which, they, which they spoke about. Maybe I'm going to um, maybe I'll be going back there today to do a video of Dr. Str Ms., uh, Dr. S um, Chrome regarding this. Um, but they're onto it. I, I mean, they they're busy. I don't want to be in their face all the time because I pretty much am. Um, but um, it's a bit of a balance. You've got to give them space to do their work as well. 
okay? But it's all communication back to our members. And even myself, I know that I'm a bit uh, sometimes slow in giving the communication that I think as I'm waiting information back from, uh, from them as well. Uh, but it's all good. It's all fantastic. And 2008 is going to be an exceptionally exciting year for, for Bitcoin. Bitcoin Cash, yes, Bitcoin Cash will be coming out in mining as well. Primarily, uh, when that is, I don't know exactly. We'll have to do some programming for that, but we're certainly going to be providing our members with Bitcoin Cash as well. Um, you know, Dr. Crone made some interesting comments yesterday. You know, he said, you know, historic, you know, looking back, maybe some of the decisions they made, maybe they made too many coins available, you know, because many people find it a bit difficult to understand one coin, of course. And, you know, it comes back to business management, maybe the 80 20 rule. Hi, Prem, I can see Prem there. He's a bank and he understands the 80 20 rule very, very much in business as well. And primarily, if you just focus on a good basket of currencies, your top currencies, um, that's where most of your business is going to be. And maybe that's what they're going to be doing as well. Maybe that's what we'll do as well. But we'll have to make lots of adjustments and changes. But primarily, you know, they're there. Genesis Mining is there to serve us. And our job is to serve you. And uh, that's primarily, and your job is to serve your team. That's primarily the chain in, my, in one sense. Um, so there's lots of things happening. And uh, sometimes things break. But um, most importantly to know, you know, you're going to, you're going to get paid. Put a ticket in, put a very clear, transparent ticket into contact at SwissGoldGlobal.com. Be patient because it, uh, it, it is totally overwhelming uh, at, the, at present, of course. And when something breaks, of course, you, go, you get bombarded. When things break, I pull my hair out. Um, not as much as yours, of course, Keithy, but I pull oh. my hair out. And, uh, I shave. I shave. It avoids pulling anything out, mate. This is great. But anyway... Of course, it makes a lot more work, puts, puts stress across all, all the front line of the industry as well. So, but, it, but with that said, people need to send us a ticket because we miss yeah. things, of course, but they need to be very, very specific. Don't be emotional about it. You're going to get paid. We're not going to run away with your, with your half a Bitcoin or whatever it might be, or 0 0.001 of a Bitcoin. I'm not that sort of dude. You know who I am. You know where I am. You'll be able to track me down. So if we owe you stuff, you're going to get paid. You just have to, have to be patient. Can I, can I take you back to the... Uh, just to clarify the purchase availability for free free uh, members or free customers and affiliates uh, being, you said, five, and I've just gone onto our site and I'm an affiliate. So the most I can buy is five terahash of Bitcoin at the moment for the uh, pre sale, which and I just went on to uh, Genesis website, not available, unavailable, can't, uh, can't buy Bitcoin on their site. So that's awesome. That's unbelievable. If all our members realise that, that we we can buy Bitcoin contracts and Genesis mining clients can't. That is. I mean, that's really, it's really, it's really an amazing thing that they would do that because yeah. primarily what they're doing is that they're just giving our members a significant amount of income that they didn't have to have. Yeah. That's right. You know, if you really realise what this company has done, if you really, you really understand that one point. Most people would think, you know what? Screw SGG. Let's turn them off. Let's sell the last bit of peta hash we've got and make 100% of the money ourselves. Yeah, That's yeah. primarily what people would do. But they have not done that. So, I mean, th this is a big deal. And it's also, you know, a testament to the relationship that, that we have. And I must say, Claudia played a strong role in that uh, as well. She, they all uh, love and adore her and trust her, of course. Um, so, it was it was a good meeting actually. Many many hours. I think it finished at one thirty in the morning. I got wow. some vit instead of getting vitamin D. I got some vitamin B B E E B E E R. But um, yeah, yeah. it was okay. It was okay, Keithy. <laughs> good. Now can can uh, just bring you back to that five terahash. Is that per transaction or total amount of terahash that you can actually buy as a free member or as an affiliate? What is there a distinction between yeah. the two? Can you? Can you okay, this, this, this thing came to, came to us yesterday, so we had to react pretty quick, okay? Because yep. we didn't want, you know, we've got players out there that want to push a million dollars into mining, you know, and which would mean all, which would mean all you people would primarily miss out. Yep. You know, there's plenty of people out with a million dollars, you know, in, in groups that want to invest the money. And I think that's, there's nothing wrong with that, but, you know, we're here to serve all people. We're just here to take money from two or three corporations and then sell out our, uh, sell out our, our, our mining availability. We're, we're a community here, we, and, our, and our purpose is to look after the community. Now, 
there's some engineering challenges with this, of course. Just, you just it's not a matter of pushing a button and say now it's uh it's limited to five. But my instructions to the team late last night to IT was, I don't care what you've got to do, limit it to five terahash, or work out how we're going to smooth out the system later on, primarily. So there's going to be changes, but primarily at the moment, the idea is is that numbers will be limited to five terahash, and maybe depends how much. Do, all these things creates a lot of uh, development time to make a change where only we, we limit customers to, to a certain amount of pet, uh, terahash and maybe even one one purchase and maybe even track their IP address I really don't know at this stage to to uh, to make sure that we look after our our affiliate members that's a lot of work to actually do that on the affiliate side of course you want to keep the door open to them because that is your core business that's your core income of course and um, we want you to be able to have a, you know, benefits because you deserve the benefits because you're an affiliate me members. That's why you pay your membership. So yeah. we're going to actually treat it that way, uh, Keithy, but there'll be some changes. I need to have some today. We didn't have a chance at midnight last night to talk to the IT team, even though they're still up. Um, but I need to have some communication with them and, and map out what's required to do, you know, ABC. And, what, and then also monitor the numbers of sales to make sure that we can – if we can get, you know, if we can carry this over. I mean, boy, what's been sold in the last days is incredible. But if we can carry this over by managing uh, our reserves, maybe it carries over into after Christmas, which would be fantastic. And and therefore, look, it sets us up for a fantastic um, 2018. And maybe there's even more coming online by them from Genesis anyway. So that's well, my feeling. Five, well, five terahash is 25 contracts. So each basic uh, $35.80 now for one, uh, your, your lowest available uh, contract, 0.2 terahash. So there's five uh, contracts and one terahash. If you're restricting the members to five in the interim, that's 25 contracts. Well, some people have just been buying one or two a week as they're, as they're planning to build their business. Um, so that is a fantastic opportunity for them just to continue on with their business plan of being able to buy one or two or maybe three contracts a week that'll take them through christmas and then obviously there'll be other plans in place so uh, if people realize right. that yeah, yeah. and that's very it. powerful keithy because i think there's a bit of a time lag i'm sorry to overspeak you there that's very powerful because the compounding factor is really exceptional i mean we on our travels throughout the states we met you know we met many people of course and some of them are earning you know well over a thousand dollars a day from compounding their um the, the Bitcoin, they put a, you know, they put quite a fair whack in themselves initially, but through the compounding and sharing with other people, if you're not sharing, you're not earning. That's the business we're in. If you're sharing, you're earning. If you're sitting there and keeping it to yourself and not actually sharing it, you're not compounding. If you want to create wealth, you've got, you've got to be able to open your mouth up, you've got to be able to share what you're doing, that you're getting paid daily, and people will want to be engaged. And, of course, if you do that, you're going to increase your daily payout. That is the business we're in. But don't underestimate the power of your affiliate income. For $50 a month, you own an international business. You pick up 5% in free hash power of anyone uh, on your first level. Plus, you're getting your affiliate income, which you can take that out and convert it back to gold or silver or to more contracts. So primarily, you're getting your Bitcoins for free. You're getting your gold and silver for free. I mean, you are sowing assets. This isn't lotion and potions in a garage. You are so sowing assets that you know for your future, maybe even for the next generation. So it works, and it is working, and it works very, very, very well. And that's why I really appreciate the calls that you people put together, because it's a team effort. You do great training, you communicate, um, and you know once people know how to do it, it's, it's relatively easy to share about Bitcoins, because as you said, the media, because of the price now, the media is actually our greatest advocate in one sense. Yeah, that's right. Just got to keep, uh, just got to keep telling your story over and over again and show people how you're going in the business. Um, yeah, brilliant. That's that's unbelievable information, Bill. Thank you very much. We'll come back to you uh, uh, in, just shortly. Um, I just want to throw to Prem, I'll bring him in. Um, uh, the uh, the power walk back from school has uh, refreshed you, mate. You're looking uh, sparkly eyed and uh, full of energy, mate. Yes, uh, hello everybody. Good to have you here. Um, yeah, I just <clears throat> got back from the school run, so I'm a little bit late. Sorry about that. I missed some of what uh, Bill said earlier, but what I heard is uh, sounds very, very good indeed. Um, uh, I've had some people obviously talk about why this restriction on free members, etc. 
Uh, let's put it into context. I am uh, an affiliate. I'm putting a lot of time and effort to building this business. Um, and I want to uh, serve my team who are duplicating exactly what we're doing. I want to be able to serve them. Um, free members now come in with very large amounts and snap up everything they can, um, which is OK if there is plentiful supply. But if it's restricted, I think it's uh, what Bill has done in the interest of this family that we have become, uh, in the interest of uh, looking after. Uh, and it's not about the size of the contract. Um, so uh, a free member could come in with a lot of money, uh, but a paid affiliate could have very little money to spend, uh, you know, initially anyway. So if a free member um, just trumps a paid member, the paid member is asking himself, well, why am I paid? Why, why, why do I bother with this? You know, so the priority is correct. Um, you look after uh, your team, and this is what the reflection of this policy is, and I fully stand by it uh, 100%. So uh, other than that, Keithy, I believe you had some other question for me. <laughs> um, yeah, just, um, well, we were talking, uh, Bill sort of over, gave an overview of the meeting with uh, Genesis Mining, which he hasn't finished with. He's still there in Munich along the cloud here. Um, they've done an unbelievable thing. They've switched their contracts off. That's just mind-blowing uh, for all That's integrity. Contracts. That's integrity for you because oh. they could have taken everything to themselves. But what they're saying is, of course, you know, all of us along the way have made some misjudgments here and there, and people uh, are able to say whatever they like on Facebook and uh, social media. But what this company has done is through action demonstrated. This is demonstration of where their priority lies. They're not just a bunch of greedy miners. Um, they are actually serving uh, uh, their relationships. And this is, again, the same ethic of prioritization is Swiss Gold Global has been so instrumental in helping along uh, uh, promote actually what are essentially Genesis products. It's their products that we retail to our membership base. Mm -hmm. They have honored that relationship. And that is, I think, that is admirable and very, very rare in the corporate world. Yeah, it is. And I don't want to get you started on the corporate world and banks, Prem, otherwise it'll be... Uh... We'll have to put up the uh, the bleeping and uh, block out your face and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but a quick question for Bill. I just remembered a question that I was going to ask you. Some people have asked me, Genesis Mining, they've got about 10% of the altcoin market. When you go to that, uh, the pie chart for the pools, the mining pools, their name doesn't appear anywhere. And you mentioned that months and months ago that they, that was being changed or they were in different pools. Can you... Give us information on that. Well, they like to be anonymous. They, they have their own pools. They don't. They're big enough to be, have their own pools. And they, and to give you the exact answer, I mean, I, I do have it there recorded somewhere because this is this question's come up many, many, many times. But they like to be. I mean, they are so big. They like to be a little bit anonymous, and they and they may not want to be. Um, and they can move. They can. They can. They can move. Um, what was their just? What was their their reason? They don't like to share their, their, their cards exactly with all the other competitors where they are in one sense, but there's a technical reason why they chose to do it as well. Now, with that said, they said that they were, they were thinking of actually doing that. I didn't actually ask the question again as to whether they're pursuing it at all, but they, it's a conscious choice by them. It's a business choice. Um, they choose not to do it, but primarily, you know, they pay. And you're paid out in the blockchain. So it, it, it works, but um, I mean, these guys are sharp. They're, they're smart, but they, they know their stuff. As I said, both the, both the people we met yesterday, one's a doctor of mathematics, one's a medical doctor, who's their CTO because he that's his history background as well, not just medicine, it's also in technology. Um, exceptionally smart and focused and very purpose-driven people. You know, they've made the money years ago what they could from Bitcoins and stuff like that. They don't have to do what they're doing, okay? They've made a lot of wealth because they've been involved in this industry for many, many years longer than what we have. Um, so, you know, they're, they're, they're very well seated, but um, they have a bigger game plan. You know, we spoke just quickly about different things which come out. I mean, as I've said before, they have their e-money license, okay? But, uh, you know, with the, with the demand and, dip, and technical issues that have been popping up, whenever an issue occurs, it takes your resources. 
You know, all of a sudden you've got your, 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 your key team is working on a thing which you want to bring out at a certain time. Or if it's a payment gateway or something breaks down over here, all of a sudden it distracts the whole team and, and it, it steals your labor. Well, this is what's happened because what primarily what they said yesterday is that, you know, for 2008, and we want to really want to be moving forward, they'll have their own wallets. They will actually provide their own wallets. You'll have their own fiat. They'll have their own fiat um, fiat crypto exchange, which we'll be able to plug into and use that for our members or have prepaid cards. So all these types of things are coming out in 2018. But there's a whole lag on this. They, they're way behind. They've been approved with the e-money license, which they had to put down two million pounds. It's a, it's a, it's a British London uh, e-money license. They had to put down two million pounds just as a guarantor. Now you put the legal fees, you put two years of legal fees on top of that, and you're talking multiple, multiple millions of investment just to get that e-money license. And they, and they have the highest tier of an e-money license. Now having the license on paper is one thing. Having the applications engineered and the processes in place to be able to use that is another. But primarily Dr. Crone said yesterday, you know, this is this is where they're heading. And that while it's uh, in the exchange with the fiat currency, because they are licensed to do this, that's going to be the major thing. It will certainly be a benefit. We and all of you will certainly be a beneficiary of that as well. But again, this is not coming out next week. It could even be six months. I really don't know. It's just going to depend because these things are major developments. These are major, major developments and it takes time. And of course, whenever there's issues, uh, there's a distraction. As I said, it, it steals away your key key engineers and, and programming teams. It's not, it's not the sort of stuff you can just hire someone on on uh, a freelance and say, code this for me. It's, it's much bigger than that. Yeah, well, obviously the relationship you have with the, with the company is, is you know, extraordinary uh, uh, of, of how, how you go about um, dealing with your relationship on a, on a weekly, daily, and the ability just to, to meet well, face yeah. to face is just- Well, uh, we're not cowboys. Yeah. We're not cowboys, Keithy. Prem is not a cowboy. Karen's not a cowgirl. Nor is Paul or Claudia. I mean, or yourself. We're we're here for a purpose. We're not going to hype people up for the sake of hyping people up and BS them just to get people to join up and spend maybe money they don't have a, can afford to spend. We'll tell it as it is, what our purpose and what our mission is, and give people a choice. You can get started from thirty dollars, or you can do this, or you can do that. But we we are not cowboys, and we're we're, we're working with a billion dollar company. We are working with the Apple of the cryptocurrency industry. Can you imagine that? Apple, the biggest co company in the world. We are working, you are partners with the largest company in cryptocurrency yeah. that has an e-money license. So this is a major thing. You hear all this and you hear all that. Yes, they're not perfect. We're not perfect. Things happen. But you know what? The heart's in the right place. They can look you in the eyes and they can tell you where they're going and they can tell you what they're working on. And I know they're going to be there tomorrow. And when the shit hits the fan, I know they're not going to run away and hide. I know I can pick up a, a call. I can come over to Munich and sit in front of them and talk to them. That's the sort of people I like to talk with and do business with. Yeah, no question. And the, the amount of business that they've just increased in the last 12 months um, is just phenomenal. We're in the right place at the right time. All the people yeah. watching, all the members who are looking to join us. Um, now, I want to throw thanks very much, Bill and Prem. I want to go to Claudia um, because you are, as Bill mentioned, you're the... Uh, the secret negotiator, the, uh, the, the person there to um, spur them on, um, so to speak. Um, with the Bitcoin mining contracts restricted as far as us and the five terahash uh, for the free customers and the affiliates, what other options do you believe that our members have um, now that this is in place probably just till the end of Christmas, Christmas time? Uh, Kitty, I, I didn't get the question. Okay, so um, we've got restricted um, Bitcoin contracts we can buy, five terahash. Now that's for affiliates. Your suggestions now, well, the three members are saying, well, okay, I don't have access to the uh, Bitcoin ones at the moment for another five or six weeks, maybe until the next batch is ready. Um, out of the other coins, now we've got Ethereum, uh, Monero, and Zcash. Now, both of, all three of those coins have gone up quite quite well in the last two weeks. So for mining, I'm still buying Ethereum. Um, I'm buying Zcash now as well because that's performing quite well. Um, so what's your what's your thoughts on those? 
Oh, yeah, very much. I mean, you saw just Monero. I mean, Monero is, is just awesome uh, how, how this has gone up. Zcash, how this has gone up. I mean, uh, they're just, they just, I would say, and that's what I hear from Genesis as well. They're in the verge to break out. So I think they will be greatly profitable again. So there's great technologies behind. And, um, and so, I mean, I'm buying them and I'm instructing my team, you know, to compound, uh, of course, in Zcash and uh, compound in Ethereum and compound in, in these contracts, definitely. So, but you think the thing is for the customers, they don't really lose out. What, what really Bill has done, and that's what people need to understand is, uh, we have so, so many people, they come on board and they just throw in $100,000 or $200,000 and more, they just throw it there. And so if, if and it's just so many of them, you know? Um, and the point is that, so if, if this bill would have keep going on with that for the customers, again, the, the hash power would be gone away from, uh, from, from uh, all the other people. So um, who are actually paying their membership. So, but it's the, the customers are still benefiting. I mean, they're getting, uh, they, they still, as you said, uh, they could still even the customers compound and refer with customers uh, and, and get enough. It's enough for them there. So it's not yet, it's not just such a big deal. It's just for the big players out there. Um, uh, you know, there's big players basically get restricted because it's just not fair that the little folks, um, as my friend Valentin from uh, from the US said, you know, what about those little folks, you know, who have just a little money? So. I, I don't see it as such a big deal because we're serving all people. And, um, and hey, you know, I tell you what, time is going to fly. Uh, uh, I believe there's a huge thing. Uh, I think there's going to uh, kind of some changes, like altcoins will rally up. I believe so. I mean, Brem knows it a little bit better than me, but um, I, I, I do think so. So, but yes, I did. We did. Uh, I mean, we had great time here in, in Munich and uh, well, we're having great time with Munich. We really bonding a lot and I know uh, and I know that's what people want to hear as well so of course they have other people they serve but they prefer to serve us ah. Swiss go global they prefer <laughs> to serve us yes. um, and, um, and 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 that's really the, the really great things because we really bond with them because we are not here for the quick buck um, we are not greedy you know, greedy, Wolf of Wall Street, greedy, we are not. Um, and we are, have a purpose, we have a mission. Um, and that is exactly what Genesis has. Genesis in the blockchain industry, in the blockchain development, in the mining, they do have a purpose. Um, and uh, it's not about the money. Uh, it's not what, you know, so many people, they are all about greed and how much is in for me, how much is in for me, you know. It is really uh, not about that. And so this is why uh, I believe we have such a really great bonding and um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm really happy because I really like the guys and uh, you can see that, you can feel it. We have a, um, and there's a lot, lot of things I think we will do in the future together with that, so. Yeah, well, it's great having you and Bill face to face and have that relationship. Uh, that's extraordinary in uh, a company the size of Genesis and the way they do business to, to have us as almost a preferential um, contact con uh, company that they do business with and your relationship yours and bills is fantastic and which means awesome things for us as members now um one quick question Claudia. And, 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 and one thing i wanted to add as well is and like you know um uh, I, I know brem is dealing with that a lot uh, you have these other companies who claim this and claim that um basically uh, you know there's two two uh, acronyms and this is uh, it's a big b and it's a big s so if you know what this is. <laughs> uh, that's very un-german like for you, uh, sorry. you know, go down that I'm line <laughs> You could just say it in German instead of English. <laughs> All right, well, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know the word starts with S. <laughs> uh, quick question, our app for our phones. When's our app coming? Any idea? That is not my question. That's a question to Bill. Oh, don't flip the, uh, you know all about that. <laughs> all right, Bill. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for remembering that, remembering that question, uh, Keithy. <laughs> no, no, we believe it's still coming out this month. Okay, they're in the final stages of the beta testing, so we believe uh, it's coming out this month. What date is the 14th? A couple of weeks. I better actually put the note down and follow up my engineers to see what where they are because I'm on their tail. Don't worry, but I've sort of lost track the last week. Hmm. Uh, this is right down the app here. 
because, um, yes, that's definitely it comes out. You know, Claudia touched on her Ackerman BS. It's an interesting thing, you know, we're, we're dealing with, you know, the Apple of the industry in one sense, the biggest company uh, in the crypto world. And lots of companies make claims. What I love about this company, if they don't have mining available, they tell you. Yes, we don't like to hear it, do we? When we were in, when we were in Birmingham, we had Prem uh, hosting the call there, which was fantastic, and Karen had arranged the event there. We had Dr. Marco Cron on. You know, he comes across as a straight shooter, straight guy. He said things we didn't want to hear, but he told us straight. We knew where he was. And to be involved with a company that says, we don't have it, our, our resources are exhausted, that is integrity. Yes, it's not music to our ears, but you know that you're dealing with a real deal company. What amazes me is that given the demand, unprecedented demand of Bitcoin contracts, et cetera, mining around the world, how these little players out there can say we have it available, this and that. Now, my question is, maybe it's right or wrong, do they really have it? You know, we, go, we can only go back a short time ago and we saw some companies find $11 million. I think a guy went to jail because they're selling what they didn't have. You know, this could be, I mean, the other side of cryptocurrency, it's the perfect breeding ground for scams. It's the perfect environment for Bertie Madoffs in one, in one sense, you know. So to deal with a company that says straight up build this and we're damn exhausted here on our cryptocurrency money, it's not available. They tell you straight up what it is. Yes, it annoys us. We're a bit peeved. I could use another acronym, of course, but I won't. Um, but that's, that's just the way it is. And I like to deal with people like this because we know where we are. We know where we stand, and that's integrity. And, of course, I see at the moment a lot of people, a lot of opportunists will, will take advantage of this, of course, and they'll come out of the woodwork. We have it. We have it. Do they really have it? I don't know. They don't, take, they don't take us through the mining farms. They don't show us through. They're not transparent. Maybe it's just a goddamn candy store. They call a mining farm. I really don't know. But this is what, this is what I think. I mean, they're the only company that's been so transparent. You don't find other companies so transparent like these guys on the mining farms, you know. And I look forward to getting Prem into a mining farm maybe on, our next, on the next visit in early 2018. But anyway, I just wanted to touch that as well. Really, it was just a diversion to get away from the apps. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've still got the phone here. The reason when the app comes out, Bill, that it'll be so great is that people can show other people their business on the phone. So if yeah. they're having a copy and saying, well, what are you doing? This is a major, major tool for talking to people about the business. And all you're doing is telling your story. And that's, that's all we are. We're just storytellers. And once the app comes, it doesn't matter if it's two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. When it comes in, it'll just be another um, part of our, um, our, our, what's the, arsenal of opportunity uh, that we can show people just very quickly. Oh, this is my back office, and see this, these things called TH terahash. That's what I earn. So I earn computer power. Oh, do you? And how's that work? Well, see all these daily payouts here. That's what I do. And what do I do for that? Nothing. And that's just a, it's a very, very good tool. So when it comes, it comes. So you know, don't, don't fret too much, Bill. Um, you know, we're not, <laughs> we're not going to hold you to ransom on that. But, you know, it's, it's, in, the, it's in the pipeline, which is good, which is very good. It's a very powerful point. I can imagine Paul on the golf course there and his phone goes, it's, it's, it's zapped him a bit and he pulls it out. He just got paid. He shows his friends, hey, I just got paid. I'm on the golf course in the yeah. beautiful sunshine on the Gold Coast and I just got paid. That is, that is living. You yeah. know, most people are not on the golf course during the day because they're, they're at a slave at a desk, you know. Yeah. But, so to be able to be on the golf course or be in bed sleeping at night and waking up in the morning and your phone's app has been going, beep, beep, whatever it might be, and you've got credits coming into your account, I mean, that is music to all your ears. Yeah. I mean, it's it beautiful. Is. Yeah, it is. We, we love it, Bill. Don't you worry about that. We love that. Now, I want to throw to Karen. Um, in bathing in the sunlight, just make sure you don't get uh, sunburn there in the middle of England, uh, even though it's like 10 to 10 in the morning. Um, the news that Bill's uh, given us today is pretty um, fantastic. Uh as far as explaining where we're at with the business. I want to finish with Bill and very, very shortly to see what uh, he's got up his sleeve. He can tell anything about what's coming on the next few months as well. Um, but coming up to Christmas, is there anything happening in England as far as events? And what's your take on what's just happened with Bill's uh, uh, explanations here? 
Well, it's um, it's fantastic to hear, um, you know, direct from Bill after while well, he's still in Munich actually with Genesis. Um, it's fantastic. Also, I think the the mining should go to uh, to affiliates first, definitely. Um, it's a bit disappointing here; it's restricted, but then you know I can understand as well. It needs to be fair for everyone, so it is good that it's uh, it's not going out to just the, the big people with all the money. So. That's fantastic. We have got a meeting being planned for early next year. We haven't got a date fixed yet. Um, I think we're looking at Manchester. We've got to get a few people involved and see what everyone wants. Um, and I've been speaking to Claudia and uh, we're going to get some uh, some good guests as well. So, yeah, looking forward to that. All right. Is there any, um, like I do a, a Swiss Gold Global meeting every two weeks here in Brisbane. So I alternate just around north side of Brisbane, south side, go for coffee or go for a uh, a meeting at night time. Do you, is there any groups, just for people watching, who, uh, is there any groups in the UK that do that, that you know of? Um, and if there are watching and they join our Swiss Gold Global corporate site or your web, uh, web uh, group, your Facebook group or Prem's uh, one there, is there any groups you're aware of? Not that I'm aware of, but I have been speaking to one of the members. We're looking to set up one in Birmingham um, in the new year. Uh, right, monthly, yeah. so so yeah. that will be good. Yeah. Okay, Looking great. Thank you very much. Awesome. Um, now, Paul on the Gold Coast. Uh, I know you uh, organise uh, meetings uh, reasonably regularly uh, down there. So, how are you taking the news from Bill today? Well, I think it's Jim. It's the news that we've been waiting to hear for some time, and we can now really get stuck into uh, getting people back into Bitcoin. Um, a mining um, and also into Ethereum and all the rest of them. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's real positive stuff. So um, we're all excited and we'll um, start getting into it uh, this week. Yeah, well done, Bill. Anything else coming up meetings-wise on the Gold Coast that you know? I know we're, we're every two weeks up here, but do you have a, like a monthly get-together that people down your way can, can uh, look forward to? Well, we have, but we've got one coming up in, uh, in Port Macquarie and at um, Nelson Bay on the 30th of November in um, Port Macquarie and on the 2nd of December in uh, Nelson Bay. So uh, we're spreading our wings. Okay, awesome, awesome. And I do want to chat to Bill at some stage uh, about uh, organising meetings around Australia too um, in different capital cities. So... Um, we spoke briefly about that, but we'll have to put our heads together. Um, Prem, yeah, um, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, that'd be awesome, yeah, awesome. Okay, thank you, Paul, thank you. Now, Prem, uh, we're just coming up to the hour, we don't want to go too long. Mind you, we've got heaps of people uh, um, watching and uh, they're all pretty, uh, pretty happy with uh, what's being said, a lot of uh, very, very positive stuff being talked about. Um, Bitcoin aside and uh, Bitcoin cash with the people with Bitcoin selling it to buy Bitcoin cash to push the price up and take their money now that Bitcoin cash has dropped again and Bitcoin has back, gone back up. It's a real roller coaster between a couple of big coins. What about the rest of the coins that we can mine? What's your thoughts about uh, Monero, Zcash, Ethereum? They seem to be hovering, and then the last week they all went green. They're all headed woof like that. Ethereum's been a little bit frustrating. It's been around the 295, 300, 310, went up to 340, back down again. Now, you're a man of experience. Um, uh, what's your thoughts, Prem, on, uh, on, on these different altcoins as opposed to the, like the two big guns fighting it out and the others? Are they going to be dragged along, do you think? What's your thoughts, mate? Uh, sure. Thank you, Keithy. Um, uh, I won't go too much into it because you don't like me talking too much, right? So I'll keep it short. But just to give you a little bit of a context, um, you know, uh, when the transatlantic trade used to take place, they, they came up these pirates who decided they can just simply go and attack a Spanish vessel or a British vessel and steal all the goods and the gold mainly and that's when you get Tharmy Hardys, you know, you've got the pirates treasure and everything. So the British actually cleverly came up with another idea. Uh, they had legalized pirates. They simply called them buccaneers. 
there were pirates in a uniform. There were still pirates, but there were pirates in a uniform with a letter from the queen or king or whatever to say, you are okay to be pirates, just do whatever you want. Don't touch the British vessels. Don't come close to us. Of course, um, when you have these kind of things happening, often there used to be a naval frigate that used to go along with those ships to protect the cargo. And um, that is okay for the transatlantic trade, but it's not okay to send a frigate all the way to South China Sea for the uh, Asian trade, right? And that's when the Asian pirates that started stealing stuff, um, the term used was shanghai the, the ships weren't hijacked, they were shanghai right? So Bitcoin is being shanghai right now because a lot of the Chinese, uh, not a lot, so particularly one group uh, attached to G1, uh, uh, Ji Han Wu, he, um, uh, he wants to divert all of the mining capacity they have for Bitcoin towards Bitcoin Cash and artificially create a demand for something that he has more control over. And of course, we have a Bitcoin resident trader, jo Roger Ver, that wants to support that. Roger Ver has tried it twice already. Now, I'm using far more blunt language. I'm sure the civilized people at Genesis Mining are very polite in the way they express themselves, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a rebel. So what, what's happening here is they're trying to create Bitcoin cash out of nothing. It really doesn't have any significant uh, advantage. It's just another altcoin. Theoretically, Zcash, Monero, and Ethereum each have a specific quality, a set of qualities that is better than Bitcoin Cash itself. Bitcoin Cash is nothing but an attempt to Shanghai the main Bitcoin because there is no flotilla protecting Bitcoin. Remember, Bitcoin is open source. It simply means if you took some time to study how all these algorithms work, you could literally just copy the program and create one of your own. It's open source. Anyone can do it. Anyone can fork a Bitcoin anytime. But how would you go about doing that unless you have the manpower? Now, the manpower in the Bitcoin world is literally the hash power. He who has more hash power is able to control more, influence more, and go with big guns blazing and create a bit of destruction. This is all driven by greed. There is no real benefit to Bitcoin Cash itself. Anybody supporting Bitcoin Cash or bigging it up can do so for speculative reasons, but not because it has any intrinsic true worth. Now, going forward, Ethereum has suffered uh, because they keep making a few basic mistakes over and over, right? They don't learn so easily. The, the marketing team behind it don't really uh, learn from their past mistakes. Let's just get this thing right. Because if they did, Ethereum has massive appeal to the corporate world. Imagine if uh, the whole export of Toyota or Hyundai or Samsung, giant companies in the Far East, if they were to put their entire business model on the Ethereum blockchain, it would cut out so much slack in the system, it would remove so much waste, resource waste in the system, and it would actually help uh, their, cross, uh, their global trade uh, in one sense. So Ethereum has qualities, but the profitability isn't that good. So now this is the question. If you can make close to 100% or over 100% in two years' time, that is still better than having your money do absolutely nothing in the bank. However, what you're making, you're not making back in Aussie dollars. You, what you're making back is the actual coin that you're mining, whether it's Monero, or Zcash, or Ethereum. What you're making back definitely has the potential of going double. It may be hovering around a level, as you mentioned, with Ethereum. It's not really taking off. But the others, even if they go up 30%, that's still a 30% return to you. Now, you might ask, well, why do I bother even mining any of these? I can just buy the coin and ride it, go up in value. Yes, of course you can, and you should, certainly. Go out, buy the coin, sit on it if you have a long-term view. But that is not going to serve you if you want a daily income, if you want a regular periodic income, look, any investment you make, anything you purchase is only good for you if you get to sell it and do something with it. Now, I have pieces of silver. I, In hindsight, I'm thinking I've got kilos and kilos of silver that I should have maybe put into Bitcoin instead because silver ain't going anywhere in a hurry right now, right? 
So if I had put that in Bitcoin, I'd be a multimillionaire already. When I bought on the same date that I bought that silver, I could have put it into Bitcoin and I'd be laughing. But that silver even now is actually no real use to me if I wanted to pay a bill with it, unless I sell it, liquidate it, and take that money and apply it to my bill payment. There's no use to me. Same logic applies to your coin. Your coin may look great and your portfolio becomes, you look feel wealthier and wealthier with your online e-wallet or your uh, um, uh, coin jar uh, balance getting bigger and bigger. That's, that's great. It looks fantastic. It feels good. But feelings don't pay your bills. If you want to get paid on a daily basis and have the flexibility of converting it in and out of Bitcoin anytime, then the contracts we have, even Monero, even Zcash, actually, you can mine Bitcoin out of it. The contract is for two years. And if you've paid attention to your back office, when you buy some of these, they're sold in hash per second. Not hash, then comes the mega hash, then the giga hash, and then the tera hash, and then the peta hash. It's not the multiple large sizes, which tells you if you're buying any contract with just hash per second, the difficulty rate is still relatively low. You're still in the early stages. So your payout for that coin is reasonably healthy. And those coins are already much higher than Bitcoin was at the same age. So let's say Bitcoin is now, let's say, uh, 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 a young professional, fresh graduate in, uh, in its life cycle. These are the coins, a bit like teenagers just finding their feet and grappling with their hormones, you know, and trying to make sense of all these different new feelings they've got, right? So these are the teenagers, but they're already outperforming this graduate Bitcoin that is already out there in the professional market. So it is still a fantastic opportunity to get into. We can do the numbers another time, but I just wanted to throw out this whole principle of What's going on with Bitcoin Cash is nothing but a hijack attempt. Um, you could speculate and make a bit of money out of it if, you, if you're that way inclined. But um, ultimately, it will have to crash. And if it takes over, we know we have an understanding from uh, Genesis Mining that if, if there is sufficient demand for it, if the whole network and the consuming public, that's you and me, Keithy, if we agree that Bitcoin Cash is worthwhile, Genesis is able to divert some of their mining power towards it and support it. They are not, they're not paying, playing a political game. They're going with the demand and what serves the public. So they will divert that power, but as long as Bitcoin Cash isn't what it claims to be, they are sticking to the core. And actually, we are happy the fact that they have uh, all the coins that are being mined through Genesis Mining, all the altcoins we have are genuine proof of work coins, which is worth more than somebody coming along and saying, hey, I've got the greatest British, latest British coin, and it's actually nothing, you know? So I hope that answers. Uh, that's uh, more than one answer all rolled into about seven minutes. Uh, as per usual, Premier uh, wouldn't have it any other way. I'm going to rename you. I, I, I've called you Bear Grills in the back uh, in the in the past because of your uh, the beard and the, the growth, wandering around bushes and jumping out at scaring young children. But... You're almost in this particular episode here, episode 14, by the way. You've turned into the David Attenborough of the cryptocurrency world with your explanation of the Shanghai ships and uh, various other historical points, but then bringing it back to nature and evolving us uh, humans on two legs, not four. So uh, it's certainly an experience. Every, every time Prem, we get you on, we do learn stuff which is of value, and that's what you, you bring. You bring stuff that we learn of value, and, and you put it in a way, the David Attenborough way. Um, I'll, I'll ring BBC TV on your behalf when I get off the call, mate. I've got a couple of mates over there, and uh, let's see if we can do a, a couple of docos, you know, <laughs> uh, the Patagonian seals or something like that. They might be interested in, uh, you know, selling them on the open market, make some Bitcoin. But you're right about... Bitcoin Cash and why, what's happened. It's valuable information. People understand what is going on behind the scenes with a couple of players who are trying to manipulate uh, for their benefit, not not our benefit. So thank you very much, Prem. In a roundabout way, you've given everything as usual, and we're, we're richer for it, which is great. Now, to finish off, um, Bill, 
Um, it's been fantastic having you on uh, uh, today um, or tonight here. Good luck with Genesis Mining uh, today with your, your follow-up meetings. Um, is there anything you want to sort of allude to uh, or let the members know? It's 14th of November. In a flash, this year is going to be over in the next six weeks, which will go very, very quickly. All of a sudden, it's people will be Christmas, New Year. There are holidays from work. They'll be rolling back to work about January, middle of January, get the kids ready. And then we're into February. And bang, the Bitcoin uh, contracts are live on the 28th. So that time is going to go in a flash. Is there anything happening with uh, Swiss Gold Global, apart from the app that's coming, the app? Uh, is there anything else that you want to sort of give us a bit of a heads up on or things that just the planning that you have for, the, for your company is going as well as you have expected? Your planning is going very well at the moment. Could you give us an insight perhaps? Probably not, Keithy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, um, we're behind schedule on many things because, as I said earlier on, just like Genesis, when, the, when there's uh, – unscheduled disruption it just steals your resources you spoke about resources before actually prem spoke about labor hash power is the is the labor for crypto well when we get distracted whether it's on the payment gateways international banking you know they don't like that we do gold silver and crypto and we're going to change things it just really takes up all of our resources and sets us back big time in fact this year i would say this year we've been set back probably four or five months probably five months because of unexpected disruption which puts back a lot of our plans. And uh, that's why the app is way behind where it should be. That's why our new websites are way behind where they should be. But because we have so many servers and high securities, um, because, I mean, we get attacked every day. I mean, we have to have all, all doors have to be sealed. Uh, otherwise, someone's going to get through and uh, try and do what they do. Uh, and we hear about hackings and we're not a wallet. We don't hold it. That's one of the reasons why we don't want to be a wallet company. We don't want to hold on to your, onto your cryptocurrencies. Um, there's, there's people that uh, do it much better than us, to be quite honest. Uh, so that's that's not our game plan. And, and uh, Genesis will do that very, very well. That's their expertise. And they actually have the appropriate license to do it. They have a license. Many wallet companies out there don't even have a license. These people have an e-money license. So, yes, there's lots of things coming out. Now, moving into the festive year, of course, the year is dis dissipating very, very fast. You know, reflect on where your last year has been. Reflect upon where you're going. What do you want? Why are you involved with Swiss Gold Global? How would you like to take it to another level? If you're a customer, should I upgrade? What does that? What does that? What does it mean to upgrade? What What would that mean to me on a daily income benefit? What, what's in it for me? In the end, you're all here because you want something out of it, correct? The education that Prem, uh, of course, and Claudia and the trainings provide is absolutely, and yourself, Keithy, and everyone is absolutely outstanding. But of course, in the end, you want to see that to Ching in your account increase uh, also. But you know, the education comes first. The knowledge comes first. The wealth comes as a secondary effect to the, your level of knowledge and awareness, I think. So it's, for us, it's all integrated. So what I'm saying towards the end of the year, 2018 is going to be a transformational year. This environment's changing very, very fast. We are on the chessboard. We are strategically placed with key players. We're involved with the biggest company when it comes to cryptocurrency. We're involved with the best mining people when it comes to gold and silver. We're involved with the best people with, with a regulated, fully regulated precious metal fund. It's the largest, it's the largest in the world outside the banking system. Okay? So these are things that we're going to be working on in 2018. So, and of course, we, we're we going to review, we want to get feedback from our leaders, you know, from Claudia and Karen, of course, and yourselves and, and uh, Prem. Maybe we can refine the packages. What can we do better? I mean, we here to serve you. So we, you know, getting some, getting some collective feedback and maybe rethinking and, and um, fine tuning our systems and things to make it easier and better for you. I think it's great. But I think, you know, we have a lot more customers than, than affiliates, which is fantastic. Most companies have a problem getting customers. We have plenty of customers. That means, it also means people aren't really understanding what the benefits are for becoming an affiliate. If you want to earn cash flow and truly diversify yourself, you really should be thinking about, okay, should I be really investing this $50 a month, of which 25% of that $50 a month is actually an asset in one sense, 60% goes back in commissions, and, you, and you're getting paid. When that mobile app goes off, you know, you're either going to get, getting me some free gold or silver, or you're getting, you're getting some free crypto out of it. So I, I, would, I would actually recommend people to 
really think about why you're involved with Swiss Gold Global. Think about your upline leadership, how you can get more information. Have a chat to them. Because for, you know, to be quite honest, for, you know, for $170, minimum of $170 to get in the doors and fully at one time, and then $50 a month or an annual package, $600, sorry, annual membership, $600 a year, which 25% of that is actually an asset, um, and have own a global business, I mean, where else can you do that? I mean, that's, that's you know, not even a, co a cup of coffee a day, to be quite honest. And if you really understand what you've got and you understand what who you're partnering with on the global basis on these resources of billion dollar companies, um, it's, it's, it's truly exciting. So I haven't really let any, any cat out of the bag there, Keithy, um, but, but I think in one sense, it's nice for people to think about why they're here. You know, this is, a, this is a serious business. It's here to change people's lives. And I want people to know that. We are here to help people change their lives. So I want people to really think about that and understand what they have at their finger, the power that they have available to them. If they really understood the power, they'll be using it more. Yeah. And that's, uh, I guess, that's our job as affiliates to, to explain um, how, how everything works. And, and all you've got to do is just help as many people as you possibly can, and in return, you you won't have any problems. With it. Your life will be uh, much the, the better and uh, more fruitful because you've helped so many people. It'll come back to you, as uh, Claudia's friend uh, Zig Ziglar and Jim Rohn and they used to say that. Uh, uh, just help as many people as you can, and all people on the panel here are doing that, and it reflects in, in how uh, uh, our lives have changed. Uh, uh, now, thank you, Bill, for your insights. Fantastic to have you on. Um, the, uh, the the future is just going to be exciting, regardless of being disruptive up and down, up and down. Um, if you're in Australia, you learn to surf pretty early so you can handle the waves up and down, up and down. That's all good. If you're in England, the wind's battering you in the head, so you gotta, you've got you to learn to lean into the rain as you're walking down the straight. Uh, the street uh, in Germany, in Switzerland, you're up to your neck in snow. You've got to be able to trudge through the snow and get to where you want to go. So we've all got our own own battles to fight. Uh, <laughs> but the great thing is, wherever we are in the world, wherever you guys are here and people watching, we all in Swiss Gold Global are actually heading in the same direction, believe it or not. And that's what we're doing. We're heading all in the one direction. Our leader, Bill, is foraging ahead for us. He's creating a, an, an environment where we cannot fail if we just put our minds to what we have to do. Basically, let's tell a story about Swiss Gold Global, gold and silver and cryptocurrency mining. Get paid daily, don't do anything except have coffee with people and talk to them about this business and everything will be all right. But you, you never give up. You just gotta keep going. And Bill never gives up. He pr provokes his time. Claudia never gives up. She's just unbelievable energy, 150%. Karen, all the time, posting positive information. Paul, non-stop, even when you're on the golf course, talking to random golfers going down the other fairway, you know. Have you heard of Bitcoin, mate? <laughs> and Prem, jumping out of bushes, frightening children and talking to their parents. I'm sorry for the intrusion, but, you know, have you thought of buying some new shoes with Bitcoin? Blah, blah. <laughs> so we all have our strange way of doing things, um, but it's a positive way of heading in the same in the same direction, which is very very exciting. Uh, thank you, Claudia, for uh, coming on. Enjoy the rest of your stay in Munich, and uh, we'll speak very very soon again. Thank you, Karen. Always great to have you on. Enjoy the sunshine. Get outside. You get, remember those old movies where you got a bit of tin foil under your chin. So to catch the sun, so you can get, a, get it, that's why, to get the old sun, sunscreen. Whereas Paul and I, we have to slap the old factor 15 on the head. Otherwise, uh, we're turning to a cherry tomato. And um, Mr. Attenborough, it's always been a pleasure to uh, get some in information and part of you, Prim. Thank you very much indeed. And Bill, always a pleasure to have the owner of the business on, giving us direction and keeping us very, very focused and positive. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, everybody, and we'll see you on the next Hangout next week for number 15. Have a great week.